Today I want to talk about guarding your mind. You meet a new person, you know, you think this is a person. Uh, automatically you want to tell them everything about you, you know, your past relationships. Stop! But I don't want to lie to them. Well, that's true. Stop telling people more than they need to know. They don't need to know about if your boyfriend cheated on you, your boyfriend was cheap, your boyfriend didn't like your kids, your boyfriend didn't like your mama. That is not their business. Why are you doing that? You are equipping someone to get information that can make you anxious, that can make you depressed, that can destroy you mentally. Stop giving out, eliciting more information than they need to know. And if they start asking about that, well, what happened with you in your past relationship? None of your business. Did he cheat on you? None of your business. Why would you be going on their Instagram trying to find out about them? Oh, this person does this and this person got this many kids. That is not your business. You need to meet that person right here where they are. They're not who they used to be anymore, nor are you. So if someone want to find out about a relationship I was, I was in when I was 25, I'm not her. 35, I'm not her. 45, I'm not her. 50, I'm not her. I am who I am now. God has delivered me. And let me say something else to you. Every time that you start to speak over your life, you give life to death. What do you mean? I'm going to tell you. You start giving people the opportunity. You start speaking life over what God has delivered you from. He delivered you from that relationship. So when you start talking about it, you're giving life to it. When he started cheating on you, you're giving life to it. When he was disrespecting you, you're giving life from it. You done been delivered, and here you are speaking it back over your life and giving it life again. It's dead. Why you want to dig it up, give it, uh, uh, trying to resurrect it? Let it go. Stop giving it life. The power of life and death is in the tongue. So when we start speaking uh, about what has bound us, what has almost destroyed us, we give them life. And you got to stop doing that. Because what you do is you keep ending up in the same situation that you were in in the beginning. Ending in the same way. Why? Because you gave this person way too much information. Listen, if you can't accept me for where I am right now, then you don't need to be with me. I'm not who I was yesterday. And I damn sure ain't who I was a year ago. Stop letting people define you and get information about it. We're at a new place. If you get a new home, are you concerned about who had, uh, wh uh, what they had in their living room, what they had in their dining room? That is not your business. Because guess what? got a new home, like a new relationship. You decide how you want to make your dining room. You decide how you're going to make your living room. Stop being concerned about what somebody else did with somebody else. You got an opportunity to have a new beginning. And the reason that you keep getting what you've always gotten is you keep doing what you've always done. Stop giving life to death. Stop telling people about your past relationships, how they ended, what occurred, happiness, sadness, that's not their business. It's over with. It doesn't matter anymore. Listen, you have to realize this. The power of life and death is in your tongue. If you want a positive relationship, speak positively over your relationship. If you want to have a successful business, speak it over your business. I don't care how it looks, speak it over that. But more importantly, stop giving life to death. You delivered. You ain't who you used to be. Be blessed and have a great day.